So welcome in the engineering materials and metallurgy subject. So today we will discuss with the one of the important heat treatment process that is a patenting. So this heat treatment is applicable for a steel with a percentage of carbon equal to 0.32-0.6%. So this heat treatment patent, patenting is applicable for the steel with the carbon percent 0.32.6%. Then the patenting process includes the following steps. First is the heating process. So the above recrystallization temperature, the component is going to heat. That is called as the heating process of the patenting. Then uh, second one is uh, holding at that uh, temperature for a definite period of the time. So the for that still is the austenizing temperature or austenization temperature is there. So we have to heat the steel above austenizing temperature, not a recrystallization temperature. So the heating above austenization temperature, after that, hold at the temperature for a particular period of time, that is a definite period of the time, that is called as a holding or a soaking time or heating, that is called as heating time, not soaking time, heating time. The cooling, then next process is the cooling. So the in molten salt bath, slightly above or below nose of the TTT curve, the cooling is carried out in the with the help of the uh, quenching media as a molten salt bath. Then next after cooling, holding the cooling till completion of the transformation. After that final cooling is with the help of air or water spray to the room temperature. So this is the process carried out for the patenting, heating, then holding, then cooling, then again holding, then final cooling with the help of air or water spray. Next is a microstructure. So it varies from perlite to the upper bainite depending upon the transformation temperature. So here the perlite to upper bainite transformation occurs for the patenting process. Then the application of patenting is the uh, manufacturing of the wires from steel, then ropes and springs. So these are the applicable where uh, the steel is used with the patenting heat treatment, uh, that is wires, ropes and spring manufacturing. Then the properties of uh, patent, after patenting for the steel, uh, steel becomes good at toughness and uh, to resist the serve stresses encountered during the wire drawing operation. So the 90% reduction in cross section area can be achieved intermediate annealing. Okay, so this is the, uh, the required toughness uh, will be achieved by using the patenting heat treatment process. Then you can see the graphical representation or the diagrammatic representation of the patenting heat treatment process. Here on X axis, there will be the time in seconds that is a zero to 10,000 or 20,000 seconds depending or in hours. Then on y axis there will be temperature in degree Celsius. So here uh, initially you can see the different uh, temperature lines that is uh, here AC3 or A3 temperature line. Then this is a AC1 temperature line. This is a martensite start temperature. This is a martensite finish temperature. Then this uh, line represent the uh, austenite to start the conversion into the alpha ferrite. Then this line is represent the uh, mixture or between the region is represent the mixture of austenite and alpha ferrite. Then the amount of austenite gets reduced and it will get transformed into the alpha ferrite and cementite. Now this line will be the uh, end of the perlite or transformation. So here alpha plus cementite will get the perlite, that is a coarse perlite, then fine fine perlite, then upper bainite, then lower bainite, then you will get the martensite phase. So initially the sudden cooling is done with the help of molten salt bath. 
up to the nose of the TT slightly above the or slightly above or below the nose of TTT curve. So this region is called as a nose of TTT curve and slightly above or below we can see uh, this curve uh, the uh, fast cooling of uh, that is a rapid cooling with the help of salt bath is uh, happen. After that there will be the holding at the temperature for a large period of time for the constant temperature so that the austenite does not directly get transformed into the martensite. Initially, it will get transformed into the perlite. After that, it will get transformed into the upper bainite. So this region is called as a upper bainite. After that, we have to perform the uh, spray cooling or air cooling so that there will be the conversion of bainite that is austenite into the martensite and finally we will get the martensite phase that is hardened phase with the help of this heat treatment process. So in this way we can study the all types of the heat treatment process. Now here in the video we will now see the gear hardening temper tempering process for the gear hardening. So here gear is mounted. Then heating is provided to the gear. So you can see here heating, the tempering temperature is provided for the gears. So the teeth and the gears are going to heat it. Then sudden cooling with the help of quenching media coolant. So the required hardness is achieved for the gear through this process. So this is the product after tempering treatment. Next one is a heat treatment of steels. Now we will see one video of heat treatment of the steel. So thank you for watching the topic heat treatment of the steel and patenting.